Hello. Hello, hello. I am Bridget and I am back with another video. Okay, on this particular video, I want to talk about the seven things to avoid being on a date. The seven things to avoid being on a date. Now, this is for a first date. This is for a healthy person on a first date. Okay, it's not lower, lower frequency stuff no more. <laughs> okay. When you're healthy, you want to avoid being, number one, the independent woman. Now, you might not come out saying you're Miss Independent on the date, but you are saying it when you let your date know that you are a doctor, you are a nurse, you have your own, you don't need a man, you want a man, when you tell them that you're a hard worker. All of that, in layman's terms, is saying to the man that he's talking to, to wrong. Okay? So that's number one. You want to avoid being the independent woman. The number two. The number two is you want to avoid talking about the 90-day rule. You don't want to mention Steve Harvey. You don't want to mention nobody that talks to women that tells women what they want to hear and don't make the women accountable for being the type of women that would probably benefit more from that. The reason why you don't want to talk about no 90 day rule is because you want to think logically what this other man might be thinking. 90 day rule if so if a man told you let's let's flip it let's do it like this yeah a man told you i don't give women nothing until after 90 days i'm not helping her with you know gas i'm not paying for none of the um meals that we go on no nails no hair no birthday nothing just nothing i gotta see 90 days You, well, I'm not gonna say you. I, I would be like, oh, okay. And in my mind, that would be the last day with him. Not because I, I am there with him for him to do, do, do. It's just because, what, what, why would you tell somebody something like that? What you putting me through? What? You, is this a test or something? Go, go by. You know, just by. <laughs> you see, when it's you experiencing that, it's a little different. Like, then go home and I'm going to call my mom. You know, they have this dude out here in physical reality that's telling women that he's not going to do nothing for them for 90 days. Like, what? It was just, I don't know why he said that. I mean, I really, I really liked him. I mean, I just was trying to get to know him, but he told me, oh, uh-uh, he gone. Yeah, I've loved him. <laughs> Okay, anyway, number three, the potty mouth. The potty mouth is the woman on the date that's so relaxed with the person that she just met five minutes ago, you know, for this first date. And she has a potty mouth so she feels so comfortable and she could tell him her stories and curse along the way. The potty mouth, you don't want to be the potty mouth. You're getting judged, baby, on that date. It's like an interview for a job. You don't go on the interview for a job, it's the first and I hope you don't. That explains why you didn't get that job if you did. <laughs> but the potty mouth is not feminine energy. And let me tell you, if a man has a daughter, woohoo, potty mouth behavior is unacceptable. Cause he gonna think, okay, I can't have her around my daughter talking like that. Cause he don't want his daughter probably looking a certain way, talking a certain way. He don't want his daughter to be around that type of energy. Then also a potty mouth might be a fighter because she's that's masculine energy. So she might be a fighter. So if she's a fighter, she might even fight men. Potty mouth is masculine energy. You do not want to go on a date being a potty mouth. Read a dictionary and find some more words you can use in a place of curse words if you really find the curse words. 
Make up your own words. Error number four. Number four is being a single woman with a gang of single friends. And talking about them on first date. And the reason why I say that is because if you have, have a whole gang of single friends, that means you, that can come off rather as if you're the party chick, you know, and that, you know, you be clubbing. <laughs> we be clubbing. <laughs> so, I would say don't speak of all of your single friends as if y'all party so much because now you're capping yourself off. To this particular person well what if you decide along your journey well i don't want to be single no more i want to be married but now this person knows that you have an abundance of single friends and you like to go to the club so you 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 kind of kind of looking kind of iffy like how you gonna how you gonna just dump all your friends now so i would say have a healthy balance if you're gonna have single friends make sure you have a healthy balance of married friends too no matter where you are in your journey because you just want to know if you decide that you want to get married one day you want to know what that marriage life gonna look like on other people you know that's how i learn a lot of the things that i share because i'm so introverted that i pay attention to people I people watch and behavior and i know <laughs> i know energy and so you could you could you could learn a lot by people just by just watching body language. And so that's why it's good to have some married friends in your circle, and you can see the dynamic of the uh, feminine or masculine energy on whether it is the woman that is exuding the masculine energy or if the, it's the man, and you can look at that relationship and and see what works in that relationship what place you want to play. Because there's some women that are so masculine that they attract um, feminine men and that relationship, they're okay with it. They're okay with the dynamic being that way. So you gotta kinda like find out what part of the piece of, piece of the puzzle that you're gonna fit in well, you know? Anyway, number five, avoid being the negative woman. The ne negative woman on the date. Avoid being the negative woman on the date because she complains about everything. She complained about the way that, oh, he didn't even come over here. She complained about how cold it is. She complained about her food taking too long. She complained about her, the temperature. Oh, it's not, it's not hot, but uh, of the food, you know? She complained about everything. He's watching you. That date is watching you. Watching how you're treating the waiter. I know I'll be watching you. Flip it again. What if it's you? And you with a guy who is treating the waiter like crap. Complaining about everything. First thing you're going you to probably say is, it's okay. It's not that bad. You know? Do not be the negative person. Find the good. Look up in the ceiling and look at the light bulb. Like, oh, that light bulb is shining. So bright. It's so sparkly. Fine, good. Anyway, number six, the talker. The talk, the talker, pretty much just tell everything about herself, and she's not allowing the man to speak. She won't talk about everything about her. She wants him to get to know her. So she's just talking. She's talking too much. She's giving him the role of a character that he could easily slide into and become it for her to fast track her into getting her on her back. That's how much she talks. But instead, let him speak. Men love to talk about himself, themselves because they have big egos. And being that they have big egos, you could be at all and be the cheerleader. That really, that's all he really needs you to be in his life anyway. Giannita, the feminine energy, the feminine peace. He doesn't want to talk about your degree and, and you hard working and, and what you're going to do. No, instead just shut up or ask him questions. Instead, <laughs> ask him questions about, you know, you know, did you play any, any sports, you know, 
as you know, as a teenager in school or whatever at the park. You know, how was your upbringing? You know, is your mother and father still with us? Um, you know. So you said you was such and such at work. You ever decided, you know, to apply for the manager's position? I believe that you letting him talk will be something rare because most women talk too much. That's why I, say, I constantly say this. Most women talk too much and they don't know how to shut up. And they be sticking their foot in their butt. And they didn't realize that they did it all by themselves. So last but not least, number seven, the easy woman. The easy woman. The easy woman is a woman you want to avoid being on a date because <laughs> you lost. You lost already because you started talking about sex on Thursday. You started asking him questions about what are you packing and, and talking about how delicious you are and and how you have best for JJ in the whole wide world. <laughs> There's really no comeback on that one because you basically lost and what's gonna happen is he's going to test you and challenge you. And it's almost like you in the, you in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the wild. <laughs> and they have lions everywhere and guess who about to get devoured? because you went into the wild. Nobody told you to go into the wild. <laughs> and so, refrain from talking about sex as a woman because it'll begin to ignite a part of a man that you don't want to ignite in the beginning stage. Trust me, the talks about sex is gonna come. It's going to come. Don't let it be from you first, and especially on the first date. And if he should cross that line too early for you, you will have the power invested in you with your feminine energy to put the brakes on that. You could pump the brakes on that in a feminine way by saying something like, The, the future me will probably like that, but right now, uh, that feels a little bit uncomfortable being that I haven't been on dates with you just yet. I don't know where you could have gotten that idea from. Was it something that I said to lead you to thinking we can talk like that right now? Because if so, I feel sorry. I just really want to get to know you first, though. Now, huh, you feel sorry. He, he, in his masculine energy, oh, no, 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 no. He, he coming to save you now. Even though that's what he probably really wanted. He coming to save you now. No, no, you all right. You all right. That was me. You know, you, you, you're just a beautiful woman. And you know, you know, you, you, you kind of do that to me. But you pumped the brakes. And you wasn't to be when you pumped them. You, you did say maybe down the line. That sounds fun down the line. But wait, hold up, partner. Whoa, chemo side, <laughs> Anyway, these are some things, seven things, that I feel that we should avoid in the effort to get to know him, in the effort for him to get to know you. Okay? Once again, this video was from my heart to yours. Bye. Be blessed.